everybody, welcome to our first show back after a couple of months, and yes, we do have some breaking news to start our newscast. Music legend Greg Allman, best known for his tenure in Allman Brothers Band, has died at the age of 69. Allman died at his home in Savannah, Georgia. A statement on the singer's website says he passed away peacefully. The group of seven leaders have agreed to keep funding protectionism, a win for the six countries that have been pushing U.S. President Donald Trump to come around to their view of free trade. However, the deal today acknowledges Trump's stance on trade and includes a statement that the leaders will keep markets open, but stand firm against all unfair trade practices. On the issue of climate change, the communique says only six leaders, plus European Union leaders, agreed to stand by their commitment to impel the Paris Agreement on climate change. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency, CFIA, has added more brands to its recall list of flour and flour-based products over further fears of E. coli contamination. In the news release, the CFIA said it is not safe to taste or eat raw dough or batter regardless of the type of flour used, as raw flour can be contaminated with harmful bacteria, such as E. coli. This recall includes the rum at the flour, a flour used to make South Asian flatbreads, and Suji flour. Also included are bread flours, including whole wheat, and multigrain bread flours. We now have an announcement to make about Talking to a Man News Season 8. Alpachem Productions Limited with Deep Gretz is announcing that Talking to a Man News Season 8 will likely be the last season. No further information is being given at this time, so stay tuned with us as we will bring you updates. British Airways cancelled all flights from London's Heathrow and Gamma Airport today as a global IT failure upended the travel plans of tens of thousands of people on a busy UK holiday weekend. The airline said it was suffering a major IT system failure around the world. Chief Executive Alex Cruz says we believe the root cause was a power supply issue and we have no evidence of any cyber attack. Talking Ginger here, and it is now time for your local weather forecast. For tonight, we'll receive party cloud skies with wind out of the southwest at 20 kilometers an hour, but it will become light this evening. We'll see a low 7. Tomorrow, we'll be seeing many cloud skies with a few showers beginning in the afternoon. There is also a risk of a thunderstorm, too. We'll be seeing winds out of the north at 20 kilometers an hour with a high of 20, and a UV index being 3 or moderate. And for tomorrow night, we'll be seeing those showers. There is a risk of a thunderstorm early in the evening, though. We will see a low of 8. And that's your forecast. Now back to you. Thank you, Talking Ginger. We'll check back with you in a little bit. Coming up next on Talking Talk Men News, we'll tell you who was responsible for the deadly shooting in Egypt. And the NBA playoffs are set. We'll have Talking Ginger with your sports report coming up on Talking Talk Men News. This program in Talking Media is sponsored in part by CSR Racing 2, the next chapter to the number one drag racing game of all time. Get it now in the App Store today. Welcome back. ISIS is claiming responsibility for shooting that killed dozens of Egyptian Christians yesterday, according to a statement said by the group. Gunmen ambushed a bus transporting Christians to a monastery south of Cairo yesterday, killing 29 people and wounding 24 others. And hours after the attack, Egyptian Air Force planes carried out strikes directed at camps in Libya, which Cairo says have been training militants who killed the Christians earlier in the day. And we have just received some breaking news now from the Conservative Party of Canada. Saskatchewan MP Andrew Scheer has just been named the new leader of the Conservatives. However, due to programming issues and a possible copyright, we cannot show you live coverage of this breaking news story. However, you can find more about the story by going to our website, TalkingTV.ca. Alrighty then, now well, let's go to Talking Ginger with your sports report. Ginger? Thanks, Tucker Tomlin. Well, the Cleveland Cavaliers, for the first consecutive time, are going face to face with the with the Golden State Warriors. This best of seven championship finals, it will be one to remember. Game one goes this Monday, right here on Talking TV. Hopefully, that was some good news because now we have some tragic news. Former MLB Hall of Fame pitcher Jim Bunning has died at the age of 85. His passing comes after an October stroke and was confirmed yesterday night. 
He will forever live on as a great man. And that's your sports report, and now back to you. Thanks, Dr. Ginger Fine, to wrap up this new cast. We are adopting a new schedule starting this June. Starting June 1st, Talking to All Men news episodes will be airing every week, no matter if it's delayed or not. This could disintegrate sometime, so please stay with us for updates. And that will conclude this episode of Talking to All Men news. Until June 1st, good night.